emotions, even the emotions we avoid as if they'll be the end of us, are not the enemy. They are really not the problem. Because when we stop the story about emotions, emotions themselves will pass quickly, almost in an animalistic way. If we stop, we could be like a, like a small child who's not yet learned to be sophisticated. We can open with emotions, we can open with fear, we can open with anger, we can open with hurt, we can open with anything you can name, and it will flush through the, through the body, and it will pass in a short few seconds to minutes and leave us ultimately in peace. So emotions are not the problem. The problem that we have is that we've become conditioned over time to avoid these emotions and we're damn good at it. We're very sophisticated at it. So we tell ourselves stories and over time we develop beliefs and make promises to ourselves and others that contain our ability to feel and rob us of the ability to identify pure emotions. So we add in stories. We tell ourselves who's to blame, or that I'm a victim, or that this is not allowed, this is dangerous, can't go there, shouldn't go there. Who can I look at to project my anger on in, onto instead of, instead of feeling it like this? We play games based on the stories that we tell internally. And they do an insidious thing. They trap us by turning emotions that would otherwise flow into moods or states. So it's our wrestling with emotions, our manipulating emotions that scare us, that really cause the problem. What I've discovered repeatedly over the years is that with depression, it's not the things we're classically taught. Depression is not a mental illness. It's not definitive, it's not what it is. Although, of course, if it gets bad enough, it can create, it can cause mental illness. It's not a physical disease, though sure, if you get depression at a deep enough level, it can create physical disease. And it's not a genetic inevitability for any of us. There are some epigenetic connections that can feed into depression for sure, but when we are willing simply to stop the wrangling, to stop the manipulating, to stop the deals we're trying to do to keep emotions under wraps or to run away from them and escape them, and when we're willing to pause long enough to open to fully feel whatever is triggered in us in the moment, then magic happens. We always will open back into a sense of completeness and stillness. Often, we'll open into a deep and profound sense of self.